10 Terrifying Creatures of Jewish Folklore. Folklore and traditions can be bizarre, fascinating, thrilling, perplexing, and amazing. However, the terrifying is one of the most common ways stories are told. People love to be terrified, and Jewish fables doesn't avoid stories of beasts in the evening, the ocean, and the timberland. There are numerous Jewish demons and mythical creatures that are very popular in today's culture, and you will probably recognize at least a few of these, whether from a book or a movie. Some are even cultural versions of other well-known creatures, such as vampires, genies, and demons, though these demons have their own fun and horrifying twists. Some you might have never known about, and maybe you'll wish you hadn't. If you want to learn more, you may need to study Talmudic writings for years or delve into the depths of Jewish mysticism through Kabbalah. However, this list should give you a good start. 1. Leviathan The Leviathan is a massive sea creature that is thought to be unbreakable. At first, there were two of them, a male and a female, but God killed the female so that it wouldn't be possible for them to reproduce and destroy the world. In Olam Haba, the world to come, which is the Jewish conviction of life after the Savior comes to earth, it is accepted the Leviathan will be filled in as a dinner. At the point when the Leviathan is ravenous, it produces heat from its mouth, which will heat up the waters around it, and its eyes sparkle and produce incredible light even over the water. The only thing the Leviathan is afraid of are killbit, which are worms that cling to fish's gills and kill large fish. However, due to their small size, you might have trouble finding one of these worms. Therefore, you should definitely avoid the Leviathan. To Agrat Bat, Malat Agrat was a Talmudic demon who was said to attack on Wednesdays and the Sabbath with a group of 180,000 angels that destroyed things. Agrat Bat Malat is sometimes thought to be another version of Lilith, the demon mentioned earlier in this list. Be that as it may, she has her own references in the Book of Scriptures, which are unmistakable. It is believed that this demon gave birth to Asmodeus by mating with a sleeping King David. She is frequently compared to a succubus due to her tendency to target men, particularly those who are asleep. This isn't an experience numerous men would appreciate in any case, and there are solid ideas toward men not to rest alone on those evenings when she is active. 3. The Alice Killings In the middle of the 2000s, Japan began to pay a lot of attention to the urban legend of the Alice Killings. Somewhere in the range of 1999 and 2005, a young identified chronic executioner is said to have left an exemplary distinguishing mark, really a playing card, and Alice written in the blood of every casualty. In contrast to the legend, which asserts that the murders are never solved, the actual serial murder case it is based on occurred in Spain between the years 1978 and 2003 and was carried out by Alfredo Galán Sotillo. Similar to the urban legend that it sparked, Sotillo left playing cards as his signature. In the end, he would be caught and sentenced to 142 years in prison in 2003. If his killing spree had been as brief as the legends, he might have been able to get away with it as well. Four Golems Not Gollum from the Lord of the Rings, not at all. Golems are creatures that are made of clay or other lifeless materials and are meant to help a community that is having problems during a hard time. They are said to have only been made by Jewish mystics who were well-versed in Kabbalah, which is Jewish mysticism, and their skill proves it. In most accounts, golems are made to help, but they actually make more trouble than they solve. A golem was created by Rabbi Judah Lowe of Prague to protect the Jewish community of Prague from anti-Semitic attacks. However, when it became violent, it was destroyed. According to some, the golem is still in the Altnuschel in Prague's attic, waiting to be brought back to life when it is needed again. It is unclear what kind of harm the golem did, but this man's creation may represent God's own creation of humanity. Despite the fact that God might have made humanity, they are allowed to accomplish something useful or malicious however they see fit, as golems made to fix what is happening can frequently make those very circumstances significantly more serious and frightening. 6. 
Doryodo Temple. The Doryodo Sanctuary quit acquiring numerous new guests around 1908 when guests were redirected to the Yokohama Rail Line. The drop in foot traffic caused the crime rate to rise, which led to the 1963 robbery and murder of an elderly woman on the premises. The temple was destroyed when the thief took the only money it had left. People who still go to the shrine say that the old woman is still crying in the forest next to it. Nonetheless, this was not the finish of sad passings in the sanctuary. A young girl at Riki Daigaku University had an affair with a professor in 1973. Naturally, the professor had a wife and two children. The teacher's better half became dubious and very sad, ultimately undermining self-destruction so he would tell her who he was cheating with. As a result, the professor came to the conclusion that in order to clear his name, he would have to kill his student. After inviting her to his house, he strangled her and dumped her body next to the temple. The dad then returned home and serious a family murder self-destruction with his better half and two youngsters somewhat later. The young girl was not found for seven months, despite the fact that the family's bodies were discovered quickly. According to reports in the media following the discovery of the body, temple visitors heard the young girl yelling, I'm H5. Shadim Shadim are types of spirits or demons in Jewish folklore. However, their description differs significantly from that of demons in Christian or Muslim contexts. They eventually came to be referred to as genies, a term you may have heard of a jinn-like being. Shadim are sometimes referred to as other gods, which means that they are not the god of Israel and are therefore by definition evil. They only appear twice in the Bible, and their only appearance is in a negative light, as in Deuteronomy 32, 17, which reads, they sacrificed to devils and not to God, to gods they did not know, that were newly arrived, and their fathers did not worship them. The Shadim, always referred to as the plural, are referred to as devils and gods whom they knew not in this quote. They were much later compared to the Arab jinn, who, in comparison, can also be killed with iron weapons and are more ominous than the fallen angels of Christianity. In some Kabbalistic rituals, the Shadim are thought to be less evil and more helpful to the person performing the ritual, and they are used to predict the future through intricate steps. 6. The Tigress of the Bee Eli A lion known as Tigress is said to live in the mythical forest known as Bee Eli. According to legend, Tigress is so large that it has a gap between its ears that is nearly 14 feet 4.3 meters, or 9 cubits. As indicated by the fantasy, when the Roman sovereign Hadrian asked Rabbi Joshua ben Hananiah to show him this madly enormous lion, the rabbi attempted to caution him against it because of its uncommon nature. The lion's roar could be heard almost 4 miles, 6.4 kilometers, away because Hadrian insisted. Thus, every one of the pregnant ladies in the space prematurely delivered, and the walls of Rome imploded. After the lion drew another mile closer, he thundered, and every one of the Roman men's teeth dropped out, and the ruler tumbled from his privileged position. You wouldn't want to ever come face to face with this truly terrifying lion. The rabbi was able to pray that the lion return home, which was good news for Emperor Hadrian. Seven Nephilim the Nephilim are the world's giants, mostly before Noah's flood, and are the Watchers, angels sent down from God to send messages, and humans' descendants. They are frequently referred to as fallen ones, despite the fact that the term hero is fraught with controversy. They were, to be more precise, human-replicated offspring of fallen angels who were referred to as Watchers. The world had fallen into vice and evil prior to the flood, and the unnatural Nephilim are cited as one of the factors that necessitated the flood. They were terrifying giants, but they are not extensively discussed and are only mentioned a few times in the Bible. 8. Estries, Vampires Female vampires known as estries are said to have preyed on Hebrew citizens. The term is from the French Strix, and that signifies evening person. They attacked randomly and were beautiful creatures. 
The estries are described as having been created on the first Friday, but remaining incomplete when God rested on the Sabbath in the religious account of Jewish tradition in medieval Germany, that is the Sefer Hasidim. According to a different story, they were made at the Tower of Babel and could fly by being anointed with special oils. Striking, grabbing their hair, or forcing them to swear could be used to control estries. An estri could only recover from a direct blow by eating the bread and salt of the person who was attacking them. Additionally, they could change bodies to trick someone into giving it over. There are numerous accounts of people successfully killing an estri, even in their transformed state, despite the fact that it is unclear how they were ever recognized. And in Lilith do, largely to her origin story, Lilith is an increasingly popular Jewish folkloric demon who was believed to be extremely dangerous for infants and pregnant women. Before Eve was made from Adam's rib, it is believed that Lilith was the first wife of Adam. She was made of clay alongside Adam. The story says that she disobeyed Adam and called God by the name of God, which is a name that is forbidden and often has four letters, Y Bu Yu, and the Garden of Eden was destroyed. She is referenced once in the Book of Isaiah and furthermore in the Dead Ocean Parchments. Curiously, the notice is in a psalm utilized for expulsions. In contrast to her evil, baby-murdering sprees of her past, Lilith today represents more feminine ideals. She is said to have left Adam in her story because she wanted more freedom and he was controlling and dominating over her. She escaped to the Red Ocean, birthed around 100 devil babies a day, and promised to be a foe of Adam and at last Eve. However, she has come to symbolize equality, independence, and sexual liberation due to her break from Adam's control and transformation into a powerful female figure on her own. 10. Dibuks Dibuks are creatures of Jewish folklore said to possess individuals, often attributed as the reason behind a person's mental illness. According to the myth, a dibuk comes into existence when a person dies with a great number of sins and wanders the earth until it can find a living body to possess. To remove the dibuk, a rabbi would need to perform an exorcism alongside ten other men dressed in burial shrouds. Most importantly, the rabbi performing the exorcism would have to make sure the debuck was released from between the nail and skin of the big toe so that it didn't damage the host's body in any other way upon exiting. The story of the debuck was made popular by a 1916 black and white film called Der Debuck, a Yiddish language drama about the creature. More recently, a debuck box was auctioned on eBay. It consisted of a wine cabinet purported to be the living space of a dibuk that created nightmares and bad luck for the owner. Kevin Manis, the person who sold the box, made up a detailed story about its origins that he eventually admitted to being a creative writing experiment. If you love this video, please subscribe to the channel to receive the earliest notification of the next videos. Click the like and share button to spread this video to everyone. And please take a look at the video description to support us. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.